Hey y'all, hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message for Hallie and DDG. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, thank you. Welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so um, as you guys know, I, I it, it's just crazy how I hear things. And it, the when I'm um, gathering a deck, sometimes I hear messages really loudly because I'm not talking. I'm really silent, and so it comes through clear. But anyway, um, again, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. What I heard was, I played your game. I played your little game, and now I'm tired. I played your little game and now I'm tired. Okay, so let's just get into it. When it comes to this combined energy, we do have the cat and the mouse. So there's a cat and mouse game, but there's also a cat pouncing on the mouse. There's a lot of trickery and foolery, somebody being sneaky even. I do see green in the background letting me know that this is affecting the heart chakra. This is a ball of emotion and someone is getting ready to do, if they haven't done so already, something that would bother the other, that is unbeknownst to the other, pouncing, right? Very strategic, go get it, required and inspired action. Now is the time, readiness and follow through. Subconsciously, one or both of them wants the other to be quiet. Like, you ain't got to say it. We know what happened. I don't I don't need you to be all loud about it. Be quiet. You know what I'm saying? And Spirit is also acknowledging when I try to split the deck, this is in regards to their hotter than blue blazes relationship, but it also feels like there's someone else involved here as well. Check out my other readings on these two because I've been saying this kind of energy was coming and if not what's coming is present like it's current okay so passion sensuality amorousness chemistry longing and an instant crush we do see a fire sign here i mean it could just indicate passion but yet chaotic or you know just passionate uh fiery uh romance but again there's a problem. It's out of control. There's something that's just not right about this. Um, and that's just energetically how it feels. Uh, and it's affecting um, business, but also pleasure. Okay, what else we're not seeing is that this is a karmic relationship. And I've said that from the beginning, um, when these two got together, supposedly, you know, say that they were together. Um, we'll we'll go deeper into that on another reading. But anyway, this is in the area of communication, uh, passion, and the heart chakra. Heart chakra keeps coming up. Um, but there is what feels like a tangle between passion and just heart, just passion and love. There is a disconnect. This is not that. These are star-crossed lovers. I do see water, again, letting me know that someone feels very emotional. They're stomping in it, so they're acknowledging that they're creating this wave, um, but this could also be a water sign. And this wave is created, um, or this splash is created to see one's reflection, to gain um, awareness of what it is they need to know and or see, feel. Take accountability and responsibility for their actions, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging that one or both of them is barking uh, loudly, angry, upset, yelling at source, at God, at the collective, at the community, at anyone that will listen because they are upset. Uh, this dog represents loyalty, so someone was not is not loyal. They once said they were loyal. They're no longer loyal, okay? Dead and stalemate, not now. Uh, perspective shift is needed. They're dealing with a storm and the storm is to get them in alignment this was like a tower card moment sudden change chaos shock it's necessary and there's it's it's hopeful that they will get in trend like in why am i hearing that song okay ladies now let's get information like <laughs> with hopes to get information okay because again it really feels like someone is trying to control the other. I played your little games. I'm tired now. I don't want to do it no more. And this could be the earth sign if there's an earth sign involved. There's an earth sign involved when it comes to this transformation, formation. I can't remember if Beyonce is an earth sign or not. Y'all tell me. Beyonce, Bianca, Bianca, excuse me. But anyway, there's just this energy of this person being very calm and cool and collected. This earth sign element behind all of this stuff, like watching, watching everything go down, like, mm, aren't you precious? Mm. Like, you're not about to get me turned up on this situation because it ain't working to your satisfaction. I told you what it was when we got together. Not my business, not my problem. Lots of emotion, suffering, fool. So one or both of them is pointing fingers at the other. And when one finger is pointed at the other, there's several fingers pointed back. It's time to take accountability and responsibility for what you did, for how you how you chose to, to handle this situation. And Spirit said, if that ain't truth, grits ain't groceries. This is my silly or dilly card. This deck said, no more. Don't tap on my door. Go on, go on, Neo. 
Got it. So just to backtrack, it feels like there's definitely something happening in their relationship. Um, but this was going to happen regardless because these are star-crossed lovers. This is a karmic debt, karmic lesson, karmic partnership. And yeah. <laughs> All right. What's the tea between DDG and Hallie? Somebody is hooked. Hmm. Subconsciously, so someone got ghosted, and then um, there's a cyber bully, and they're chasing love. They got ghosted, they're being bullied, and they're chasing love. They're actually running away at the same time. Somebody is fake flexing in this relationship. Acts rich, flosses it, acts fancies, and shows it off. They could have money, but they're just doing too much. They're doing too much, too. That's what Spirit is acknowledging, okay? Now, in the middle of the deck same shit different day this relationship is a cycle of we're working we're not working we're getting along we're not getting along we have good days we have bad days comes like that i'm going to say come see come sa. okay all right so anyway what is ddg's issue with hallie current energy Digging dirt, looking for dirt on her. Does he not trust her? Um, he's also acknowledging that she has karmic friends that he can't really trust them. There's tension and there's secret competition and karmic friends. He's peeping the scene. And in the middle of the deck, he's saying he's got screenshots, evidence, proof, and facts about how she get down. What's really going on? Same shit, different day. Um, there's something too Spirit is trying to, to tell me about pregnancy and this weird Holly weird connection, fraternity, sorority kind of thing. Something that if it, it makes me feel like when somebody is pregnant they are off limits it's something so weird um and again this is just a download and so she knew that she she being holly could escape something within that holly weird sector if she were to conceive a child now that's just a download i don't i'm not going to go into depth about it because i'm observing and i'm not absorbing it's not my thing um but that is like what is coming through and it's like there's this thing like pregnancy means hands off energetically hands off around certain and things and so oftentimes um <laughs> this download is crazy they they will they will have children have multiple children to kind of escape and the person's face that's coming to mind is rihanna and the person's face um that's coming to mind is um <sighs> angelina jolie i don't know why <laughs> jolie 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 Mm, okay, in the middle of the deck, Spirit said, um, when it comes to her and him, especially from his point of view, he's acknowledging that, um, thank you, Spirit, that there's this energy of him being into her, good chemistry, great vibes and positive, but somebody's unfazed. Like, is she unfazed? Like, I'm really, yeah. Sending him in a situation where he's confused. Like, are we on or are we off? This is on and off energy. And it's also very triggering to him, this relationship and how it goes back and forth. A wave of emotion. Sometimes you want to be with me. Sometimes you don't kind of energy. Um, but she has a secret. There's a fire sign again. So it could be passionate, chaotic, but it's affecting romance. And it's also affecting business. Um, business and spirit is also acknowledging that he's very emotional around the comments around their relationship again water sign energy okay let's get into her hallie current energy around ddg i'm following what's his real name dirt digging as well she's like you looking up dirt on me i'm looking up dirt on you what's up she's also acknowledging that there's fake smiles in this relationship uh moving on thank you next something about child neglect Mm, not my business not my problem these two cards want to come out and so do these right here okay so spirit is also acknowledging that she feels like he's very forceful that they do that she's is she traveling is she not with him um that he might be even feeling like there's someone else he's not very secure in this relationship force He's been cheated on before, Spirit said. Okay, not my business. Forcing things on her, forcing his way on her. Um, she feels like uh, her light irritates his demons, vice versa. She feels like he's fake flexing, like he got it all. Wear it at. Broke ass. Ooh. 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 Middle of the deck. Mm. She said, you need to go to the doctor. The doctor get a checkup from them groupies. Uh-oh. Same shit, different day. That card is coming out heavy when it comes to these two. What's that about? What's the secret between DDG and Hallie?
Thank you. Single mommy. Uh-oh. And that's a woman with a little boy on the bottom of the deck. Because your ex is back and y'all was talking. Uh-oh. Uh. See, she says, shh, I already know. There's a lot of insecurity in this relationship. Are you talking to him? Is he? Are you talking to her kind of energy? Wow. And the ex is back. Whose ex? Her ex or his ex? Okay. DDG and Holly. Somebody touched the forbidden fruit. And she said, I will have the last laugh. Or he said, I will have the last laugh. And this is a karmic relationship, okay? It's the dead peacock, okay? Death to pride and death to ego. Because I'm coming for you with this karma, right? Um, and now they're cold as ice. Very rigid, not flowy. Very, very rigid. Um, not, not giving life. Very cold. Nothing is growing, okay? And they're enjoying magical moments alone. By myself living single in the 90s kind of world i'm glad i've got my girl spirit said this is divine timing when it comes to these two what's happening is happening in divine timing star-crossed lovers karmic partnership you're supposed to learn a lesson and move on okay patience this card means you need to make peace with divine timing a watched pot doesn't boil sometimes we're waiting on someone else to be ready for the job to become available or to become the kind of person who can carry the responsibility continue living while your manifestations work on their own don't even worry about it it's, it's being worked out but it's, everything is happening in divine timing, whether you agree with what's happening or not. Okay? Energy, ancestors around DDG and Hallie. Mother of fire in reverse. Be aware of jealousy, deceit, betrayal. Or are you the one being shady? Stop trying to preserve your image. Life is too short to be shallow. Is that not the read for this? Hey. Re Thank you, spirit. Oh, somebody being shady. Somebody ain't telling the truth. DDG and Holly. And they trying to preserve this image that you put out there to the collective. But we are in the age of Aquarius. Everything that you in the dark comes into light. Here we go. The two of cups is in reverse. Disharmony, disconnection, imbalance, inequality, incompatibility, unhappy couple. Mm. Water sign energy, very emotional. With the king of swords, air sign. Thinking negatively, this person is selfish, ruthless, dev uh, devious, premeditated, malice. Someone who was very overly cautious. Mm. That's why this relationship ain't working. And the strength card, somebody's like, I'm tired. I'm I'm weak. I don't want to fight anymore. Self-doubt, weak, low self-esteem, feeling inadequate, uh, being bullied, fire sign energy, fire, flame, running low, fizzling out. How does DDG see Hallie, current energy? How does DDG see Hallie, current energy? <laughs> You want to come out so bad. Four pentacles in reverse. Shedding the O. Letting go of people. Possessions or issues. Generosity. Sharing. Greed. Unwarranted fear of poverty. Uh, the emperor. Abuse of power. Rigidity. Stubborn. Lack of discipline. Lack of control. Absentee father. Paternity issues. Oh, that's how he sees her. Oh, my goodness. He's also acknowledging that um, she has a nine of swords. Fear. Anxiety. Terror. Night, ne negativity. Deep unhappiness. Stress. Burden. Feeling overwhelmed whelmed excuse me at a breaking point nine of swords inability to cope or face life mental anguish guilt regret remorse focusing on past and a subject of gossip that's how he sees her um she needs to be very careful with how much she divulges to him how much information because i the energy is that you don't want to be seen as an unfit parent okay because you could be up for a nasty custody battle not my business, not my problem. Okay, how does, allegedly, how does um, Holly see DDG? 
The Queen of Wands, seduction, lies, strictness, disorganization, prudish, moralistic person who tries to impose their values on others. Fire sign. Uh, the sun in reverse, lack of enthusiasm, sadness, unrealistic expectations, ego, conceitedness, oppression, miscarriage, stillborn, abortion. She's acknowledging that he might have had an abortion. And that comes up every time when I read on him that there was another child of his. Like, this is not his first child. And maybe this is why he loves his child so passionately, because there was another child in his energy field that did not come through, right? Two more things she's acknowledging uh, with the lovers. Um, she's acknowledging that, you know, in the middle of the deck, she did choose him. She felt like they that she was in love with him, soulmates, temptation, and they, they were put to the test. That there is some form of partnership in this relationship of romance, desire, sexual connections, and sh shared value. But next to that is a transition, leaving even though I don't want to, knowing that this is the best thing for me to do, going to calmer waters, okay? Air sign energy. Moving forward, things calming down, calm after a storm. Look, this is a father, a mother, and a child here. And this boat is giving them direction. Thank you, spirit. Overcoming hardship, relief, stability, escaping, running away, journeys, travel, traveling overseas, going on a trip, feeling deflated, deflated. No, I'm trying to say defeated and deflated at the same time. Deflated and defeated. What's next for DDG and Hallie? Thank you. The Queen of Cups. Someone's going to make a choice based off of their emotions and their feelings. They have deep empathy and apathy for this person. Deep feelings as a mother who's going to make the situation, who's going to make this, the, 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 the decision. And this person taps into tarot. Um, they tap into it. They, they're, they're getting assistance from someone else to help them figure out what to do in the situation. Um, Hallie's into it. Water sign energy. Um, she's going to have their look. She, cause spirit is like, she's calling the shots. Um, so she thinks because he's just as vocal and, um, powerful and even aggressive and, and the choice is being made as well. But, um, having mental clarity in this choice, um, a new vision, a new route, a new idea. And then we get friendship. That's what's next for them. They're going to be starting over again. It feels like somebody's going to be starting over completely um, from the other. Um, feeling very free. Foolish even. Because they're young. And they made some choices like based off of just spontaneously. And there was a lack of commitment in this relationship. But there's some new beginnings. But there are some celebrations and some reunions. There's three here. Baby shower. Hmm. Wedding, engagement, happy times, but more so around friendship because I see a third person here, which means they're just going to make it work. But there's a third person, so it just feels like energetically they won't work, but so one of them will have another partner who is going to be their long term partner and they'll figure out how to cohesively co parent and be their own kind of family unit if that makes sense this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does